I'm going to run through a few installations that we've done in the last year or so um, in order to give you some inspiration on where a safe might go in your home customers often ask where the safe can be installed so I thought I'd go through some pictures of jobs that we've done and that might inspire you to give you an idea of where it might go in your home so this first safe is our uh, Sussex size 1 digital uh, euro grade 1 safe um, that's been installed in the bottom of a wardrobe and as you can see it's sitting on the base and it's bolted through that back panel so we've drilled some holes or a hole in this particular case through that back panel behind there was a solid brick wall and that safe is bolted in there and the next safe we're looking at is our endurance size 3 uh, safe uh, digital safe and that's exactly the same thing uh, bolted through the back of the wardrobe in this case the wardrobe is a ikea pax wardrobe which they're quite sturdy actually so they're fine to hold the weight of a safe of this sort of stature um, and most of the weight is taken by the in this case two bolts through the back into the brick wall and the next safe we're looking at is the endurance size 3 which is a very similar installation but this one um, we had to make a packer underneath an mdf packer to lift it up a bit uh, so that it would clear the um, so that the door of the safe rather would clear the runner of that sliding wardrobe track and again um, this one there is no rear panel in this uh, wardrobe so this one is bolted straight to the um, brick wall behind and the next safe is our euro grade 2 mini safe and this one has been bolted um, to a solid brick wall and we've trimmed the skirting board as you can see so that the safe is in full contact with the wall and moving on we've got a size 2 Sussex grade 1 safe that's in the eaves cupboard um, and it's bolted to the brick wall to the left hand side or to the block wall to the left hand side and also fixed down to the plywood floor there and the next safe is also another Sussex grade 1 size 2 in a built-in um, walk-in wardrobe type area and it's been bolted through that back panel onto a brick wall and also uh, an additional sort of secondary fixing if you like down to the base so the requirement is that the safe is bolted to the fabric of the building um, and in this instance that that's been achieved through the back of the safe into the brick wall uh, this is an understairs cupboard and again this is a Sussex that's been bolted to the concrete floor and to that brick uh, cement over brick wall the next safe is a Bloomsbury size 2 that's gone into some um, sort of purpose made joinery in a living room and at the back of the uh, cupboard here there wasn't a brick wall but there was to the left hand side which was the external wall so this has got uh, four bolts in through the side panel and into that brick wall that's behind uh, the next safe is a Bloomsbury size 3 safe 40k size 3 safe that's sitting on top of this uh, shoe rack that the customer had um, in an understairs cupboard and bolted to the dividing wall this is like an edwardian sort of terrace this house bolted to the dividing wall between the two properties with four expanding anchors uh, very robustly fixed and the next safe we have is a bloomsbury again size 3 and this is in another understairs cupboard area actually I think it might have been an understairs bathroom or toilet WC and again skirting board cut it's bolted to the brick wall at the back there um, through uh, four, hole, four bolts into the solid brick wall and the next safe is a Sussex Eurograde 1 size 1 um, which is a very popular safe and that's been bolted to the brick wall behind skirting board trimmed again in this instance and a Bloomsbury size 2 which is in the base of a wardrobe and um, has been fixed uh, to the wardrobe uh, base uh, with, with wood screws but the main primary fixing is is through the back of the safe into the brick wall that was behind that panel same sort of thing here only this one the Bloomsbury safe is uh, on a sort of raised up area of this built-in joinery um, I think you can just about see at the top some sort of hanging garments there um, and again bolted through the back into a brick wall next safe uh, is sitting on top of a sort of shelf unit inside the cupboard um, and bolted to the wall 
uh, again a Bloomsbury and then ne next safe is a um, Putney uh, grade zero safe bottom of a wardrobe fixed to the base of the wardrobe and bolted through the back into a brick wall we don't need to cut the panel out I should point that out to do that it's just a couple of holes that we drill um, then we have another Sussex I think this is a size 4 uh, grade 1 which is in a wall, another walk-in sort of wardrobe area tucked away in a corner um, this one was in a um, sort of drinks cupboard at the bottom of a drinks cupboard again it's bolted through um, through that back panel into the brick wall behind uh, then we have a one of our Highgate drawer safes um, and this was like a modern uh, sort of high-rise apartment uh, and this is bolted to the uh, the joinery so this is what we call a joinery fix we weren't able to bolt into any brick walls because there weren't any way anywhere uh, any any suitable walls to do that due to the construction of the building um, so it was a joinery fix to the base of the cabinet or the shelf here and to the back of the um, panel here it was quite a thick panel so it was quite robustly installed and uh, then we have another Bloomsbury size 2 which is inside a fitted wardrobe bolted through the back usual thing sitting uh, on a chest of drawers that's built into the cupboard then we've got one of our torch safes uh, fire, fire resistant 10k rated safe I think this was an office and this is bolted down through the base into the concrete floor and this was another office gentleman wanted two safes um, I think this was for camera equipment as I recall um, so these are two Bloomsbury size four so the largest of the Bloomsbury's and they're bolted um, to the concrete floor so it's four bolts each safe into the concrete floor I think we bolted through the back as well so very very robust and the next safe is one of our endurance uh, size one safes that's uh, again base of a wardrobe fixed to the wardrobe at base with wood screws and bolted through the back of the panel into a brick wall then we have another Putney safe where we've trimmed the skirting board inside this cupboard and again the the, the wall where typically if the safe was sitting with the door facing out um, the back wall that it would have been bolted to wasn't suitable but the side wall was a solid brick wall so we fixed it there and the next safe is a grade 3 safe a Burton a Mario safe and this is in a basement and it's fixed to the floor and fixed to the wall and then we've got an understairs cupboard a Bloomsbury size 4 which is fixed through those tiles into the concrete floor and bolted to the wall at the back and then we have a very snug fit um, Sussex Euro grade 1 size 1 key locking safe that's sitting um, inside this piece of uh, fitted joinery and bolted to the brick wall behind then we have another uh, Burton uh, a Mario grade 3 safe this is the smaller of the two sizes this is the size 1 which is bolted uh, under, under a shelf in a store cupboard like a utility room sort of thing and it's bolted to the um, the brick wall behind uh, and a size 4 Sussex in a wardrobe and bolted to the brick wall you can actually see this is uh, this is the chimney breast so this wardrobe was built over a chimney breast and we've bolted to the concrete chimney breast uh, this is a one of our euro grade uh, three safes this is the euro grade three mini safe um, and euro grade three safes are, are very very heavy normally but this particular one is a, is a lightweight one with rear fixing holes that we've had modified and this one is in a cupboard in a wardrobe bolted through the back into a brick wall uh, then we've just got a Bloomsbury size 3 which is inside a um, it, actually it's just in a room uh, there wasn't a cupboard or anywhere in this particular property so the customer uh, we bolted it through the brick wall as you see cut the skirting board and the customer is going to have a bit of joinery built around it to hide it and same story here with this Sussex Euro grade 1 size 2 um, exactly the same scenario as the previous one and next we've got a Bloomsbury uh, size 3 which is in a uh, custom built office study type uh, type of uh, arrangement and so this is actually the the desktop the, the, you can see that it's fixed to the desktop and you can just about see the bolts at the back where it's bolted through into the brick wall and we have a size 2 a 
endurance safe, very typical insulation, base of a wardrobe, bolted through the back into the brick wall. And the same thing on a sort of corner wardrobe unit with a Sussex size, uh, sorry, an endurance size one. Then we move on to a uh, Euro Grade 2 Mini Safe. Uh, this is our London Euro Grade 2 Mini Safe, which is sitting in the, the base of a, an existing sort of cupboard that um, we've trimmed the skirting board a bit and bolted it to the brick wall. And, and the same safe, Euro Grade 2 London Euro Grade 2 Mini Safe, which is just inside the eaves door um, and bolted to the, uh, the block work, as you can see to the left. Uh, then we have a uh, Sussex size 4 which is sitting on top of some uh, drawers inside a fitted wardrobe bolted to the back and fixed to the base as well. Uh, the next safe is a Securiki mini vault, base of a wardrobe, usual story, bolted through the back and fixed to the base of the wardrobe. Then we have a Bloomsbury size 4 which is um, just sitting in a room. Again, I think there was some joinery planned around it. They just moved in and it's, uh, we've trimmed the skirting board and the safe is in contact with the wall, four bolts into the wall, very, very solid. Another Sussex size four inside a wardrobe, bolted through the back. Again, you can just see the chimney breast arrangement here, um, but the customer thought the best use of the space was to go right back and bolt it to the wall, which I agreed with. Here we have a Euro grade um, uh, two safe. Uh, this is bolted, um, I think this was a garage actually, if I remember correctly, and bolted to, these were concrete blocks at the concrete block work at the back, bolted to that, and bolted through the uh, large format tiles into the floor. And another Burton uh, Amario uh, size one safe, sitting on some very sturdy joinery, and bolted through the back into the brick wall. And another uh, Burton Amario, this is the size 2, the larger one, in a wardrobe. This is a sliding door type wardrobe, and we've bolted it to that brick wall behind. Uh, so this, this is another Euro Grade 2. So this is our London size 0 Euro Grade 2, which is a very heavy safe, 180 kilos. And it's sitting on this, um, this base of this built-in cupboard, and we had to do a bit of reinforcement on this base here in order to um, to get it to take the weight and the next safe we've got is again I think this was an office or a workshop and it's a uh, endurance size 2 which is sitting between two cabinets and bolted to the block work wall and bolted through the floor into the concrete floor uh, this is a Sussex size 2 digital safe grade 1 which is in, as you can see an understairs cupboard and bolted to the brick wall dividing the two properties uh, a Bloomsbury size 1 which is in the base of an existing wardrobe, nice snug fit. You can always put some socks or something in front of that to, to disguise the safe. Uh, next we've got a Sussex size 1, um, very typical installation, under stairs, bolted to the wall. Uh, another, uh, this is the size 2 drawer safe which was again um, in, in a uh, London uh, apartment block and this is another joinery fix job as I mentioned earlier on. The customer was very happy. Sussex size one again, uh, inner wardrobe, it's quite a large raised base on this one, but you can just see the bolt at the back bolted to the wall. And another Burton Amario size one, uh, also wardrobe and bolted to the wall. And this is a um, so joinery in a study and this Sussex size two is sitting on the raised base of the joinery and bolted through the wall, through the back of the panel into the brick wall. Uh, and this is uh, this was a very old, two or three hundred year old cottage that had this sort of raised area um, under the stairs. It was doing nothing really, um, and I think they had some um, w a wine rack or something in there to the right that you can't see, and we bolted it to the um, to the blockwork at the bottom that was very secure. Um, this one, there was nowhere, no, it was completely open plan, nowhere to put anything. Um, and the gentleman wanted it next to his bed so he could be near his watch collection. Um, that's his own watch winder that you've got inside there. A, this one is raised up a bit on a shelf in an existing wardrobe, bolted through the back. It's a Bloomsbury size 2. 
this is a Sussex size 7, so quite a large safe, 800 millimeters high, um, and it's in a utility room. The skirting board was trimmed and it was bolted to the brick wall at the back. Uh, this one, the gentleman was um, constructing this shelving that he was going to have his collections of uh, his collectibles on, and he wanted the safe to sit on the raised base of his uh, shelf. Um, but bolted to this this is a nine inch brick wall so it's four bolts into that brick wall so very very strong uh, another Bloomsbury size 2 on a raised shelf um, or rather in a chest of drawers inside a, a fitted cupboard nice neat job and oh this was an interesting one the gentleman already had this Yale safe from us um, many many years ago and his insurance company then wanted a higher rating so we put the new Sussex size 2 right next to it, bolted, or sitting on this raised, this raised shelf in this cupboard, but bolted through the brick wall uh, at the back. And this one is a uh, high gate safe. Again, the brick wall was the, um, the side here, but there wasn't really room for the door to open because of the track of the wardrobe door. Um, so we, we put it in sideways, trim the skirting board, uh, very neat and tidy. Uh, another utility room with a Sussex size 2 bolted through the back into the wall and a Bloomsbury size 2 in the base of a cupboard um, I think it was a, like a cupboard next to a chimney breast and oh this was an interesting one it, the Bloomsbury went in perfectly between these two shelves in a um, understairs sort of cupboard area uh, another Sussex size one. This was a dentist's waiting room, I think, or the office or something. Um, and we installed it in this existing joinery, bolted it to the wall and to the base of the cupboard. Uh, another understairs cupboard. Uh, this was uh, um, a Sussex size two, which is sitting on top of the customer's um, unit there and bolted to the brick wall, dividing the two properties, external wall. And this one's quite high up, it's a Bloomsbury size 2, um, which was almost, well, it is at the top of this wardrobe, so you can't see the perspective, but it's actually about five foot off the ground. Um, so that, that's, we don't generally go that high, but with this particular safe, it's, it's heavy, but it's not too heavy, so we can do it. Next one is a Bloomsbury size 4 that was just in a little um, uh, sort of side room, uh, storeroom type thing and bolted to the brick wall at the back. Uh, this one is, as you can see at the bottom, a, of a set of a basement stairs, um, and it's a Bloomsbury size two, I think, and bolted to the cobbles and to the brick wall. Uh, next one, uh, this person needed an insurance rating um, of 175,000, uh, but they didn't have anywhere suitable to put a safe of that mass and weight so we fitted two Sussex size uh, one grade ones which gave them an insurance cumulative insurance rating of 200,000. Here we have a nice Bloomsbury size one at the bottom of a built-in cupboard and finally another Bloomsbury size two at the bottom um, of uh, a built-in cupboard bolted through the back into the wall. So hopefully that's given you um, some idea of where you might be able to have us fit a safe in your house. Uh, any questions, please get in touch. This is my WhatsApp number that I'm putting up on screen now. I've, I've put it up a couple of times during the video as well. Um, thank you very much for watching.